Hello friends, in this session we'll see how you can move messages from AWS FIFO Deleter queue back to a FIFO source queue. So let's get started. I'm logged in into AWS console management and I'm already in Amazon SQS service screen. So we'll create a FIFO queue first and you can see there are two options. So we'll select FIFO and we'll call it. So you have to add dot FIFO at the end. Configuration will keep it as is. Visibility time or 30 seconds. Uh, message retention will reduce to four hours. This is just for demo. Rest, I will leave it. You can select content based deduplication. Uh, enable high throughput FIFO. I will just leave those part as is. Access policy, I will keep it as basic. And rest of things I will leave as is. So we'll create. Now the queue is created. So we will quickly create another queue, which will act as dead letter queue. So we'll select as FIFO and we'll call this dot FIFO. Here also the configuration will keep as is, only message retention period will change it to four hours and we'll keep the basic policy, access policy, and then we'll create this queue. So this queue is created, let's go back. Yeah, so both are there. Now we'll configure main queue to use this queue as its dead letter queue. So we'll add it. And if you scroll down, you'll see dead letter queue option, enable it. And under choose queue, select the ARN for dead letter queue. Max receives, make it one and save. Now our both the FIFO queues are ready to test. So now we'll send some message to our main queue. So select this main queue and then click on send and receive messages. In the message body, give some message in JSON format and then give some message group ID and message deduplication ID and click send message. So message is sent. If you go back to the queue and refresh, so you can see the message there. Now we'll force this message to be pushed to Dell letter queue. And how we can do that is simple. We select this source queue and we select send and receive messages. Scroll down, poll for this message. And you have pulled this message. If you see the details, you can see here and go back to the queues, refresh the message in, in flight right now and we will not process this message for 30 seconds so it will be sent back to the queue and when we pull it again it will be pushed to the letter queue because the max receive is set to one so it cannot be received more than once and that's why the message will go back to the letter queue let's refresh this page so it has come back we'll go into the queue again send and receive message and you can see we can pull this message again but this time it will not pull it Rather, it will move it to deleter queue. So we'll refresh the page again, and you can see the message is pushed to deleter queue. Now you'll we'll see in such situations where, for some reason, consumer could not process this message. After reviewing it, how you can push it back to the source queue. Now, one of the ways is you go into deleter queue, you pull for that message and get the contents of the message, go back to the source queue and send the message to the source queue. But you can avoid that manual process and there is a second way of doing it. You select the deleter queue, edit, scroll down, and under deleter queue, enable this deleter queue and choose the source queue as the deleter queue for this queue and make max receive as one and save. Now we'll go back to the queues. So what happening now, main queue is deleter queue for this deleter queue and vice versa. Now we'll select this deleter queue click on send and receive messages, click poll messages, and we have pulled this message once, go back to the queues, and if you refresh, the message will be in flight now. So message is waiting for the consumer to process it, which we will not do, and that's why the message will come back into the deleter queue again. So we'll refresh this page again, and you can see the message is back into messages available. We'll select the queue again, go to send and receive message, scroll down and poll for message. But because max receive is set to one, it is going to push its to its dead letter queue. And that's why the message will move to the source one. So let's refresh. And you see here, the message is back into the main queue. I find this as easy way. And after moving it, you can select the dead letter queue, edit and disable the dead letter queue settings so that it remains dead letter queue for the main queue only. I hope this helps you and we'll see you in next session. Thank you.